I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Be alone, that is the secret of invention, be alone, that is when ideas are born. My brain is only a receiver, in the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution but it contains certain known factors. We crave for new sensations but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world, the harnessing of human nature to human needs. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. The gift of mental power comes from God, divine being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we become in tune with this great power. My mother had taught me to seek all truth in the Bible. The individual is ephemeral, races and nations come and pass away, but man remains. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. 